Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 173. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says that we have a bag that contains blue and red marbles. Quarter of the number of blue marbles equal to the third of the number of red marbles. One more time. Quarter of the number of blue marbles equal to the third of the number of red marbles. They go on to tell us that three times the total number of marble, three times the total number of marbles exceeds five times the number of blue marbles by twelve. The question simply is how many of each do we have? How many blues? How many reds? Let's, let's find out, shall we? So we are looking for two unknowns, number of blue marbles, number of red marbles. Two unknowns, which means we need two independent equations. And the two independent equations are going to come from the two sentences that we see here. So let's begin then. The first sentence is right here. It says quarter of the number of blue marbles, quarter of them. So let's represent B, let's represent the number of blue marbles with letter B. B represents the number of blue marbles. And the quarter of the blue marbles, so divide that by 4, that represents the quarter of blue marbles, equals, equals, the third, the third of the number of red marbles. Let's, re let's use letter R to represent the number of red marbles. And the third of them. There you go. That's our first sentence. Quarter of the number of blue marbles equals the third of the red marbles. Let's go on and do the second equation right here. Three times the total number of marbles. So if you're going to represent number of blue marbles with letter B and the number of red marbles with letter A and since these are the only two colors we have back contains back contains only blue and red marbles therefore the sum of the two will represent the total three times the total number of marbles so three times the total number of marbles exceeds five times the number of blue marbles five times the number of blue marbles is this are these two quantities equal to each other? The way we wrote it here, what, what this says is that 3 times the total number of marbles equals 5 times 5 times the blue marble. It, the 3 times the total number of marbles does not equal 5 times the blue marble. It exceeds. It exceeds. 3 times the total number of marbles 3 times the total number of marbles exceeds 5 times the, 5 times the blue marble. Exceeds by how much? exceeds by 12. This quantity, 3 times the total number of marble, exceeds 5 times the number of blue marble by 12. So how can we justify putting an equal sign here? Well, there are two ways we can do that, okay? Since this quantity, this quantity is 12 more, it is 12 more, it exceeds by 12, then 5 times the blue marbles, we have two options. Either we can add 12 to this side, and now these two sides are equal to each other, or or we can take the total number of marbles and subtract 12 from it. If we subtract 12 from it, now this quantity minus 12 no longer exceeds 5 times blue marble. They are equal to each other. As you can see, it's the same thing. Whether you put plus 12 here or negative 12 here, it's the same thing. I'm going to put plus 12 over there only because I don't have room here. It's going to look, it's going to look ugly if I try to squeeze, if I try to squeeze the 12 here. Let's, enough of the talk. Let's, let's, let's carry on. Here's our first equation, cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we get 3 times the blue marble equals 4 times the red marble. That is our first equation. Let's go on here. 3 times the blue marble plus 3 times the red marble equals 5 times the blue marble plus the 12. Bring the blue over that side, so we get 3 times the red marbles equals 5 times B minus 3 times B is going to give us 2B plus 12. Now the complication is that complication is that here we have 3r, here we have 4r. If we can make the coefficient of the r the same, then we can make a substitution over here and continue our work. So if you multiply this equation by 3, let's multiply this equation by 3. Let's multiply this equation by 3, both sides of the equation by 3, and we end up with 9 blue marble equals 4 times 3 is 12 red marbles. And since we want 12, let's multiply both sides of the equation here, both sides of this equation by 4. Multiply this side of the equation by 4, multiply this side of the equation by 4. And we'll end up with 12r equals, if you're going to multiply it by 4, 
4 times 2 is 8, 8 blue plus 4 times 12 is 48. You with me? Now we are done. You see this is 12 marbles, this is 12 marbles. If 12 marbles equals 9B and 12 marbles equals this quantity, that means 12 marbles must equal 9B here. So if in place of 12 marbles, we substitute 9B from this equation here, 9B equals 8B plus 48, which is very straightforward. Subtract 8B from both sides and B equals 48. All done. Once we have the blue marbles, we can figure out the red marble right from here or from there, doesn't really matter. Let's do it here. We have the blue marbles, so red marbles from this equation here, 12 times R equals 9 times B, so R equals 9B, which we know is 48, 9B 48, 9 times B over 12. 9 times 48 over 12, divide top and bottom by 12. If you divide top and bottom by 12, 12 from the bottom is going to disappear. 12 from the bottom from it is going to disappear and 48 has 4 12s. So 9 times 4 is 36, so R equals 36. We have 36 red marbles, 48 blue marbles. That is what we are claiming here. What we need to do at the, at the very end is to, make sure, is to make sure that our work is indeed correct by verifying it. So verif let's, let's verify it very quickly, okay? Let's verify it. 3 times the total number of marbles, 3 times the total of marbles. So we are claiming that we have 36 red marbles. Let's do it here, verification. We are claiming that we have 36 red marbles. We are claiming that we have 48 blue marbles. Total will be 6 plus 8 is 14, carry 1, 84. That's the total. And it says that 3 times the total number of marbles, so 3 times that amount, I, I left very little room here for myself. Four times three is twelve. Carry one. Twenty-four plus one is twenty-five. So, three times the total number of marbles, which, which comes from here. Three times the total number of marbles. This amount. What we're claiming is that is twelve more than five times the blue marbles. Then five times the blue marbles. So if we subtract two from it, twelve from it, because it's twelve more than that, we get two forty. And the question is, question is, is two forty is two forty five times the number of blue marbles? number of blue marbles is 48 and the answer is yes because 48 times 10 we know 48 times 10 would have been 480 and therefore 48 times 5 would have to be half of 480 which is 240 as you can see it works that tells us that our work is correct see you tomorrow okay bye now